across the world in all sectors we venerate men as authorities and this is reflected through uh, this is because of our observations of the world we see men in senior positions we see men with these great books and we assume they're the big thinkers the best directors the best writers etc and that all perpetuates this unconscious bias and this is really self-defeating if we're trying to resolve complex problems if we're blinkering ourselves to alternative perspectives, if we're not thinking of, about alternative ways of doing things. And so let me give an example about governance. Many people uh, in international development recognize governance as a major issue, uh, concerns of despondent, demotivated civil servants. So many, uh, the World Bank and many organizations have tried to galvanize civil service reform. So whether it's through uh, pay for performance incentives or state cutbacks or monitoring receipts to address corruption. And that sort of sort of mixed results. 20 years ago, Judith Tendler highlighted the importance of workers feeling appreciated and workers having autonomy. That was widely cited, but not really listened to or reflected in donor practices. Mm -hmm. We continued with the state cutbacks, the monitoring of receipts, the performance based incentives. Now it's getting a resurgence. So we delayed in listening to a particular a brilliant woman's ideas mm -hmm. to our detriment. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just one example of the importance of listening to alternative perspectives and learning from them.